Hello. I'm here to talk about the state of the arts in Perth, in particular uh, the formation of the Art Collective. Um, we are all aware that the commercial galleries started to close down about five to eight years ago now. There's lots of reasons why that happened that most of us are probably aware of. Um, you know, perhaps it was generational. It was time that there were uh, new things coming on board. But personally, I think the main one was a lack of audience participation. Um, somehow, things were good during the 80s and the 90s. I mean, particularly, I spent most of the 90s working in the Eastern States, so I wasn't here for the, for the whole bit. But um, we seem to have failed in some way the next generation of collectors and audience. Um, I don't know why. We were busy, obviously, still putting on exciting things. The artists were still producing fantastic artworks. But we didn't generate a new continuing interest. Um, so after the commercial galleries had started to close down, we started to ask questions about what we can do to support the local artists to continue in their practice. Um, and at the same time, uh, the Mossensons, uh, the patrons of the Art Collective, were looking at ways that they could um, take advantage of their beautiful custom-built building in the middle of Subiaco and to, again, help the um, promotion of the local art scene. So we decided to start a new model, a hybrid, a cross between an artist-run collective, but this time for mid-career and established artists a uh, cross between a commercial gallery. So there would be some income being generated for these artists that are participating and a contemporary art space so that we wouldn't be constrained by the fact that we had to sell work all the time to make a living. So perhaps we could do things that we know that are not necessarily cost effective, which obviously a lot of arts activity is not. Um, a group of artists got together and formed the collective. It is a membership organisation. It is run by a board of artist members. Um, they have employed me to run the collective for them, as uh, many of the artists realise that um, you know, their job is to produce the best artwork they possibly can, and they need to be in their studios to do that. Um, unlike a traditional commercial gallery, we are a not-for-profit. So any profits that are made go into a, an account and the members and board decide how that money is going to be spent. Um, in particular, we realise that senior and established and mid-career artists were the ones that didn't have that many opportunities in the new scheme of things. Um, and there, there are a lot of awards, a lot of interest, a lot of support for emerging artists and for younger artists, but there wasn't for s many of um, mid and senior artists who perhaps had been producing work for the last 20 years and suddenly had nowhere to show it. Um, we aim to have a uh, funding from, all, from three different sources. The um, main aim was to fund from sales, again, to produce income for our artists, uh, philanthropic with philanthropic individuals and corporate sponsorship and from government as well. Um, we also hope to raise the profile of our artists to make sure that they are continue to be seen locally, nationally and internationally. Uh, we don't consider ourselves only servicing our members. The aim is to service West Australian mid and senior artists across the board. So, um, you know, you don't have to be a member to exhibit with us. Um, you don't have to be a member to, to participate, which is really what it's about. It's about participating. So, to do, to maintain the profile of our artists, we sort of have set up sections of the ways that we're going to do that. Obviously, Exhibiting is one of those ways, hanging these works on the walls or on plinths or on the floors or whichever way um, artists choose to do it. So people and curators can come in and view the works themselves. Um, the other way would be to take our art elsewhere. 
So we have attended uh, numerous art fairs already in our uh, first year of operating. We attended the Sydney Contemporary, the inaugural event. We have been to Singapore last year. Uh, actually, it was earlier this year. And we recently came back from the Melbourne Art Fair as well. Um, the last two fairs, our policy has been to show one or two artists at those events as opposed to a group of artists. Um, we hope our artists are poached or collected or picked up by as many galleries and curators and arts writers from those organisations. And so putting on single shows can show a more uh, you know, coherent story uh, for an individual artist. We want to do publications. We think that there has been a lack of history being uh, kept in Western Australia on our local artists. There hasn't been a lot of books. There hasn't a lot of been a lot of art writing. There hasn't been a lot of um, writing in text that are, um, you know, um, produced in Sydney and Melbourne, you know, Art in Australia, Art Collector magazine. We don't get a lot of representation. And with the closure of some of the senior commercial galleries here, all that information has been lost. They were, you know, they were the ones who were keeping the records. They had the files. They had the CVs. They had the um, photos of installation shots of, um, you know, career, uh, artists' entire careers. And again, that information, you know, has been lost to the public to a certain extent. There are obviously institutions um, whose job it is to maintain their own files and their, and their own records. But we would like to produce publications. Um, we have a project called, uh, it's, it's a book club, where we failed in getting any uh, assistance from the government in our publication aims, so we've decided to do it ourselves. So individuals and corporate have um, sponsored, um, so far we have about half as much as we need to produce an artist monograph on Trevor Vickers, the first one. We hope to do it on an artist every year, but again, it depends on the support that we manage to achieve. Um, and talks and workshops is the other way that we uh, hope to continue this. We have forums in the gallery, we have workshops, we have artist talks, and we'd like to do a lot more of that. Uh, direct involvement, because education is obviously one of the main ways that we're going to get um, a new generation of uh, collectors interested in West Australian art. Um, I think the change in nature of the commercial art scene has meant that new things have to happen, that we all have to change the way that we operate. Um, this is a, a new model, a hybrid, um, and in our first year we have had quite a lot of success in some areas, but again in um, other areas we haven't. We have been supported uh, by the institutions and the corporates uh, locally. Uh, very much so. We have um, gained support from people like Sydney Contemporary who themselves approached the Australia Council so that we could attend. Um, we need to consider new ways of operating uh, marketing. So new media marketing is something that the collective is um, currently uh, concentrating on. Um, globally, I've heard uh, anecdotally from people over, from galleries working over east, that 80% of their sales and interest comes from their websites and from emails. Traditionally, we've been, you know, uh, hoping that people come into the gallery and look at the work on the walls, but, you know, we really need to do a lot more work of actually getting those people in in the first place, and it sounds like the um, internet and the... Is, is the way forward, especially for uh, artists living and working in West Australia, which is a remote community, uh, according to the rest of the world. Um, I think what was interesting about some of the uh, talks that I heard er earlier was that they were talking about artists not being visible in the eastern states. Um, I think for me, my concern is the artists not being visible in Perth. Um, we have senior artists like Trevor, there's no doubt that everyone, anyone who knows anything about art history acknowledges his importance um, in the history of Australian art, in particular abstract painting. Now Trevor has great support uh, from the eastern states. His market 
for um, curatorial shows, for inclusion in publications and for sales is bigger over East than it is in Perth. So I really think that we need to concentrate on what is going on here first before we you know, concentrate on what we're going to do about the rest of the world. I think if we just continue to put good art on, on display, um, we write about it, we provide the information about it, then at some point someone is going to notice. Thanks. <laughs>